The Raising Three Kids, or in Gwen Graham Service as PTA president. Everything I do is through the prism of being a mom. Gwen Graham's ads highlight her role as a mom to three kids, a former PTA president, and the daughter of former U.S. Senator and Florida Governor Bob Graham. We recently caught up with Graham as she made a stop in Palm Beach County to talk about her plans to improve the Florida economy. I think uh, after 20 years of one-party rule, we have a lot of issues that are affecting our economy, where people are not able to find that great paying job. They're paying way more than they should for health care. Graham, a former congresswoman from Tallahassee, says she's determined to do the common sense things like raise the minimum wage and provide sick leave to workers. I think a, an economy is, is not just one aspect. It's the totality of what, uh, what the state provides in terms of a, of a wage. Uh, that is a living wage. You cannot live on $8.25 an hour, so we need to make sure we're raising the minimum wage, providing paid sick leave for those that shouldn't have to make the decision between losing a job or taking care of themselves or their family. But she stresses those ideas alone aren't a full economic strategy. The economy is a mixture of all different components, and right now we have focused exclusively. When I've heard Rick Scott say, jobs, jobs, jobs. What that means is, yes, in Florida, you're going to have to work three jobs just to get by. We have got to provide an opportunity for good paying jobs. To, to create to more tests. jobs, Graham wants for to expand technical and career based education, starting at middle school and continuing through high school and into community colleges for adults. Graham wants to diversify the economy with new jobs in technology and robotics, solar energy and health care. Graham says she will work to invest in Florida's infrastructure, improving roads and mass transit to relieve congested highways, improve our quality of life, which will in turn attract new businesses to our state.